What's up guys? Brady Burks back here again. Today we're going to talk dogs and hunting. Stay tuned. So we're going to introduce you guys to some of our dogs, uh, their names and age and the whole nine. Good morning, guys. What's up? All right. So today we're going to get out some of our dogs here and talk a little bit about the dogs that we have here at Pheasant Run Ranch, what their jobs are, their names, the whole nine yards. It was requested by some of the guys in the comments that we introduce some dogs and talk about their jobs. I'm gonna get some dogs out, kind of one by one, introduce them, tell them their names, their jobs, what they do. All of our dogs are in a kennel. They're on an indoor outdoor run on concrete that we keep clean. Uh, and they all have a job. They all have to earn their keep. Um, so they get to have fun. You know, some, some people have hunting dogs and they only hunt once or twice a year. Um, our bird dogs are pointing uh, English setters. Uh, they get to hunt probably 90 days out of the year. Cash here gets to run the farm and duck and goose hunt and hunt as well. And Remy gets to herd cattle and do what she loves. So everybody has a job. Everybody's treated very nicely. Before we get too far into the video, I want to preface that I am not a dog trainer. I'm not a professional dog trainer. Some of the things I do are just things that I've picked up on YouTube or through friends that are dog trainers. Um, I do not train dogs professionally. And uh, what I do just uh, seems to work for us, and I know that my dogs are not perfect. And with Cash, I picked up Cash here um, back in uh, December. He was born in October. He's just a pup still. He is going to be our retrieving dog, uh, waterfowl hunting primarily, but he uh, is going to go pheasant and quail hunting with us and do a lot of retrieving for us. Um, my wife is kind of partial to him because he's a lover. Um, and he'll cuddle with you and hang out with you riding the ranger Pretty chill dog each dog uh, even though they're a hunting dog uh, Each have kind of a primary objective cash is here is to retrieve He'll go out and find birds. Thank you, sir. Sit Sit Stay he'll go out and find birds that have already been shot his job is to be more steady um and only go when you send him here. More of a flusher, retriever type dog versus uh, the English setters. So here we go, we'll run some drills with him here. Stay. Stay. Good man. Cash. So we want him to only go when he is called to go, especially in waterfowl hunting situations. You don't want him out down range um, while people are shooting. Here. Good man. Sit. Good boy. Thank you, sir. We're still working on things like hold, but, uh, pretty steady dog. And, and, as, and as I said, I'm a dog, I'm, I am not a dog trainer, so through future videos, if you see my dogs make mistakes, um, if you see m myself make a mistake doing things, um, when we're working with them or hunting with them that you just say man that's that's not uh smart or he doesn't really know what he's doing uh it's because i don't claim to know what i'm doing i have found through guiding and being around a lot of dogs that some of the dogs and dog trainers that um are talked up um usually are some of the worst dogs uh I am straight up open that my dogs are working class blue collar dogs. They're not field trial champions. They're not gonna win you any money. If you look at their bloodlines, they're not they're not superstars. They're just what they are. They're just happy, good old hunting dogs that work for you because they love you and want to please you. And uh, I know there's some people out there that you know have grandmaster. Uh, two-time national champion dogs and they have to tell you about them and they have to tell you how good they are and you know sometimes they make more mistakes than my dogs that are just good old good old common dogs so i tend not to talk them up even though i do love them and i do think they're awesome 
And uh, same thing as myself as a trainer. I don't want to talk myself up as a trainer or a handler because I'm not. I know that I'm not, and I'm okay with that. So these dogs here, these are some of my English setters. These are upland bird hunting dogs. I've got uh, five of them out here, um, ranging in all ages. These dogs are for pheasant and quail hunting. As you can tell, they are not as steady as cash. The, their job is to go out and point birds, find birds, uh, upland birds, pheasant, quail, the whole nine. We got one point in there. There they go. So with these dogs, because they like to range and roam and they're not as steady, they're, they're bred to go out and hunt, we use a Dogtra digital uh, collar on them um, so we can tone them beep! and call them back. That beep is not a shock. They're not being harmed by it at all. It's more or less just a notification to them letting them know, hey, I need you to come back to me. And here they come, see? Um, now it does have capabilities to um, vibrate and buzz a dog, but that's not our uh, main reason for using them. Um, it helps us locate dogs if they're in thick cover, and it helps them to hunt close um, and hunt the area that we want them to hunt. And they're just super excited. Look at them all. Up when bird hunting dogs are English setters. For no other reason other than it's kind of like having a fleet of vehicles. Some people have Chevys, some have Ford, some have Dodge. Um, and instead of having all three or all four different types of vehicles, it's nice to just have a matching set. So that's what we've got here with our dogs, our English setters. Yep. So we'll introduce these dogs. Running right there is Lefty. He's one of the younger dogs in this fleet. We've got Bailey. Hi, Bailey. We've got Lexi. Hi, Lexi. We've got Hunter and Dolly way down there. Ah! Dolly. Hi, girlfriend. Hi. And we've got Hunter. Hunter, here. Here. Good man. Come here. Hunter and Dolly are probably... Uh, some of my two strongest dogs, one of my uh, most consistent dogs as far as uh, uh, their hunting abilities go. We try not to rank dogs. Uh, every dog trainer and things is going to have their favorite. Uh, mainly, you know, maybe it's because they hunt better or they obey better or different things. But uh, some of my friends who are dog trainers say um, you can't pick favorites. They're somewhat like kids. Uh, you might get mad at them one day or not mad at them the other day, but at the end of the day, you love them all equally. Um, and that's basically uh, how we approach it. Um, some dogs might point better. Some dogs might retrieve better. Some dogs might flat listen better. But at the end of the day, they're all our dogs, and we try to uh, love them equally, not pick favorites, not hunt one more than the other. Um, they all get the same treatment. So they're, this is kind of their style, and as we get closer to hunting season, um, we'll have some hunting vlogs, I'm sure, um, some training vlogs maybe even. Uh, today we're just kind of letting them free run. The weather's pretty cool out, and they're just loving it, man. They're, they're uh, getting in that cover, uh, finding some birds, just running, being dogs, man, loving life. And again with our dog tra remotes here we can get them called back yep. give them a quick tone here they come coming in to check in yep. those other dogs are a little farther out but everybody else came back to check in seeing what I wanted them to do and now here they come if you want them to come here here Drop to a knee, raise your hand. Here they come. Good man, Hunter, here. Whoops. Yep, this way. Hunt this way. So you give them a command to hunt this way, and now we're off a different direction.
Here they come. Hi. Okay. Let's go. Our dog kennel. We'll do an official uh, ranch kind of tour and walk through, but this is this is uh, their home indoor outdoor run uh, on concrete so they don't have to sit in the mud um, or grass or anything like that they can come inside the dog kennel and get heat and AC they can go outside uh, of the run to get fresh air and sunshine again you've seen the inside of this but here's the inside of their run uh, super clean. I mean, we're going to sweep it out and power wash it here later. Um, we've also got Joy. Hi, Joy. And we've got Brooke here. These are two dogs you didn't see earlier. Come here. Hi, honey. And we've also got Allie here. Come here, Allie Cat. Come here. Allie's our oldest dog. She's 14. She doesn't get to do too much hunting anymore. Um... She's pretty retired, but we get her out to hang out here. Come here. On some mornings, we just enjoy and brook inside there. Um, they're some of our youngest dogs, so they're not puppies anymore. They're over a year old, but as far as maturity in the field and uh, their training goes, they are still learning, catching up. So we've got a range of dogs from about a year old, clear up to 14 years old, and uh, here recently, I actually had to had to bury uh, one for for age. He finally just got old enough that he passed. Um, but I mean, they get to live an awesome life while they're here, and they get to hunt a ton. Like I say, these these English setters, they get to hunt almost 90 days straight, uh, even up to more um, if we hunt on some controlled shooting areas or do some dog trials and things. Um, so they they get to. Do what they love to do, do what they were born to do. This is a dog we see quite a bit. She's my little truck dog. This is Remy. She's a blue healer, border collie mix. Uh, we bought her from a buddy's farm for like a hundred bucks. Um, we just wanted a farm dog, a dog to help work cattle. Um, she has a lot of bite, She, as you've seen in some other videos. Lay down. She uh, is still learning, but she can come and help, uh, come in, uh, help us sometimes sometimes but uh, she's definitely still learning uh, she gets to pal around the farm quite a bit you just uh, got to keep an eye on her because every once in a while you'll see these cows out here running around because she definitely has an eye for them easy easy so this is her job help load cattle move cattle help push cattle And she learns, but she's got to tone it down sometimes. Okay? Okay? Easy?